My Hero Academia Season 4 just introduced two dapper delinquents and welcomed us ladies and gentlemen to log on and view a posh spectacle. The snazzy shenanigans of two self-proclaimed vigilantes on a harrowing mission to bring justice to all those who act contrary to chivalry. Oh. Oh my. My apologies, I didn't see you there. Salutations. It is I, Gentleman Truth. And today, we shall dive into the origins and philosophies of these most classy of criminals. So join me, and let's spill the tea on Gentle and the Bravo. Oh dear, it seems they already have. Gentle Criminal, or Gentle, known by his civilian name as Donjiro Tobita, is a man with slick-backed hair and a glorious handlebar mustache, donning fashionable attire including pinstripe pants, a scarf, and a jacket with coattails. He even has a walking cane for style and constantly drinks tea to complete the English gentleman look. Gentle possesses the quirk elasticity which allows him to make anything he touches flexible and springy like a rubber band including the air itself. He was inspired by villains such as the Trickster and Mad Hatter from Batman, who were known more for silly antics than serious crimes as simply a way to get people's attention. This is evident in Gentle's robbery of a J-Store, all because the company feigned ignorance over falsifying labels on expired pudding cups. Not exactly an evil that threatens the entire world. Gentle's internet presence and constant uploading of clips showcasing his capers to video sharing sites is how he seeks out this attention. This bloke is handsome, loves classy things, dresses impeccably well, and has a YouTube channel. <laughs> oh my god. It's me. But despite being a devoted internet villain for the past six years, he's not gaining any traction on the platform, and his videos are routinely outperformed by more viral clips about the League of Villains and the hero killer Stain. I know the feeling, dude. It hurts. But you gotta change up your content. Even the comments are less than promising. But yes, please show us Labrava. Labrava, known by her real name Manami Aiba, is a short woman with red ponytails who, just like Gentle, dresses very stylishly and is 21 years old. Wait, what? Donjiro Tobita. Age... 32? <laughs> Gentle likes him young. I guess he's not me after all. <laughs> Shut up. She may be small, but don't let that fool you. Labrava is quite big brain, as she's an excellent hacker, being able to figure out Gentle's address to find him in the first place, and then later, as we'll see in the anime, hack into UA's security system. She possesses the quirk Love, which is something we should all possess, but this allows her to give someone a power boost just by telling them how much she loves them. The amount of power scales with the intensity of her affection, so lucky for Gentle, he gets the biggest boost. Cause hey, age is just a number. Okay. Gentle Criminal and Labrava both represent the idea of wanting to never be forgotten and seek attention and praise in different ways. Gentle from society for his crimes, and Labrava from her partner Gentle for his love and affection. The idea that it's better to be infamous than fade into oblivion is nothing new, especially for young people and those who haven't yet found purpose and meaning in their lives. It's the wrong way, but a sure way to leave a legacy. In explaining his grand plan of gallantry, this gentleman talks about the heroes who have left their mark on history, but also includes the infamous villains All For One, Redestro, and Oji Harima, who I hope we get to see in a flashback. In the words of Napoleon, glory is fleeting, but obscurity is forever, and how one achieves their glory can become marred if righteous purpose and dreams aren't realized. The Mad Hatter stole hats not just for silly attention, but sought recognition from everyone as to not be forgotten. Originally, he wanted to be a hero just like the Caped Crusader, but as he grew older with his dreams fleeting and fears of obscurity growing, he traded in a righteous and modest life for a delinquent but infamous one, or at least the most fame he could achieve. Gentle Criminal is the exact same. In the past, he wanted to be a hero, but his grades weren't up to par to attend a hero program. Instead of coming to terms with never achieving this dream, 
he decided to steal glory for himself. A good way to think about Gentle is a dark version of Deku. A Deku who didn't reach his fullest potential. A Deku who went down the wrong path. Deku fully admits after their fight that had it not been for All Might finding him and bestowing the one for all quirk upon him, he may very well have turned to villainy in a desperate attempt to hold on to his dream of becoming a hero. Dang, I might have to turn to villainy. Deception hero. It's got a good ring. At least Horikoshi will always support me. I wonder if he's watching this. Labrava, on the other hand, just wanted love and attention from one person. One lover. In middle school, she confessed to a classmate, but came off as stalkerish and was humiliated. Instead of maybe taking a step back and changing her approach, she stopped believing in anyone, including herself, relinquishing all ambition and becoming actually a bit of a hikikomori, letting the fear of being a social outcast control her and even considered ending her own life. Gentle is the only one who accepts her and her love, and therefore she feels eternally devoted to him, especially with her quirk love, to boost his power. The problem is, she is so in love with Gentle and so afraid of having her heart broken and being alone, that she is blinded by this love. She can't see that while yes, Gentle does treat her well, he is a criminal and someone who could potentially put her in harm's way. At the end of this sad saga, Labrava even tries to cover for Gentle when being interrogated by the police, showing us just how much she is under Gentle's charming spell, even if he isn't aware of it. Even though Gentle and Labrava are minor villains during the school festival arc, they have surprisingly tragic stories about seeking approval from others, and not achieving your dreams, and then losing your moral code to compensate for this. The silver lining here is, after all is said and done, there's still hope for Gentle and Labrava, as Gentle shows his remorse, and Labrava is still young and naive, meaning she can learn what true love, devotion, and confidence mean. But what will the future hold for our flamboyant felons? Could Gentle become a hero or sidekick in the future and take down real evil? And what will Labrava use her world-class hacking skills for? Let yours truly know down below in the comments, and be mindful of your grammar and punctuation now. If you enjoyed this installment of My Hero Academia Philosophy, then I indulge you to matriculate at UA today by subscribing. Trust me, you wouldn't want to miss one of my lectures. And until next time, what, what are the kids saying these days? Oh yes, plus ultra. Yeah.